Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make some pearl powder paints. i got a couple different colors. It's gold, yellow gold, blue sky, uh, papaya. Let's see what we've got. We've got winter. I call this a winter green. It looks silver on the bottom, but it kind of looks green in that light. And raspberry. This is what I'm using. Hope y'all can read. I hope y'all can read that. And this kit comes with 36 colors. I think it's like 12 bucks on Amazon. I've already made some. This is the one I'm mixing it in with. It's Rust-Oleum Ultra Color Cover Gloss. The reason I like this because it's uh, like nine dollars a quart. Non-yellowing, UV resistant, seals protects. Pretty good stuff. Pledge Revive It. I'm using that to thin it. And then I'll, t I'll talk a little bit about that here in a bit. And you need one of these. Well, you don't have to have one of these, but it makes it a lot, a lot easier. And these little bottles, mix them in. The way you can get little droplets out. I can't remember how much these were, but they weren't very much. I got these on Amazon, too. Let's get to it. Let's show you the different colors. We got Dusty Rose. Is he a wrestler? I believe I'm right. We got Black Pearl Drive. I can't even pronounce that name. Light Brown. Orange Golden. Okay, like I got that wrote backwards. It should be like golden orange instead of orange gold. Kind of hard to say. Mint. Another bronze. Cherry color. Got berry. Aqua marina. Like I said that right. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Dark scarlet. Graphite, I mean, that's the one box, there's 36 colors, and I think it's like 16 bucks, it may not have been that, maybe 12 bucks, but there's a bunch of colors, and each one of these will do a two ounce bottle, but I, what I got is one ounce bottle, so I can make a double, whatever you want to call it, so, and then, so I'm just going to reach in there, I don't know what I'm going to look. I'm just going to pick a color, and this is what we're going to make. Let's see. Papaya. What I've done is took some tape, made me a little funnel, and I, the sticky part's on the about side, so I reversed it. And what I've got here on this bottle, let's see right here on the bottom, that's the general area area I want to feel that powder to is right there and this is where I'll feel this up to so let's see if we can get that in there without a, making a hell okay put that in there and sometimes this stuff will stick on the top sides of it uh, I'm already getting it on my fingers already so I'll just flip it a couple times make sure it gets down There you see it in the bag. Whatever you do, don't blow in the bag. <laughs> Trust me. So, fill it up. A little bit more. down. Make sure all the stuff's off on the inside. And there I am. Pretty close that line. Should work just fine. Alright. Now for the fun one. Let me get this lid off. Now this is a gloss clear. But we'll actually 
I'm using this because I, I can't find my can opener. I don't know where in the heck it's at. This will work. This is gloss clear, but if you can tell there, it looks kind of milky. And it is milky, actually, until it dries, and it dries clear. So what I'm going to try to do is fill it up to this line here. That's where this comes in handy. Instead of trying to funnel it in, because I did that first, and it eh, didn't work out too good. Kind of made a mess. Pretty slow because it is kind of thick. I need a napkin. Get in there. I'm keeping I'm watching my line. But if you fill this thing up. It does really pretty close to your mark. So, whoop, I lost some. But, it's right at the line. Let me get a rag and clean that up. Alright, another thing I didn't mention on this, this Rust-Oleum, it is latex. So, it'll work with all your, your paints and stuff. Uh, it ain't oil based, so it actually works pretty. It dries about 30 minutes. It does take a little bit longer to dry than normal because it is a little thicker, but uh, it does real good. So I've actually got several cans of this. And I actually like using it. Then I'm gonna take this is just a fishing weight, but you can use a marble, rock, whatever you got, you know, buckshot, just to put it in there, and that's gonna help mix it up. This. This is what I use to thin it. Now this is actually going to thin. You wouldn't think it would. You'd think it'd thicken it up. But it'll actually thin this and make it spray better through your gun. And it, it's, to me it seems like it cleans, uh, not clean, but I mean the air gun or your airbrush is easier to clean to get the paint out of if you're, if you're using this in your paint. It's just me. Now, everybody may not feel that way, but I mean that's just my thought on it and another thing it does it seems like once it's dry it's got more of a harder shell on it so when you whenever you put your netting or mesh on it to paint with you're a lot less likely to scratch it up so what I do okay they can look at now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically just fill it up to the, the bottom of this lip and that's all I'm going to do. Open up. This stuff is really gets everywhere too. Being careful. I wish they'd come up with a different... I guess I could transfer it to a squeeze bottle, a different squeeze bottle. I think that'll be good right there. Now I'm right... Right about here on that lip. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe just a little bit above it. Okay. Now the only thing about this stuff, that stuff all, that plate is kind of sticky when it dries. If it sets overnight or a day or two, this is this is copper. The copper or your pigment your pigments are gonna to go to the bottom. They're gonna sink because they're actually heavier than your paint. But if you notice this has the this had the pledge in it. This and this too, but you can't see it. It's completely mixed in it. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes you'll you'll have to you have to shake them anyway. But sometimes there will be a little separation between your paint or your clear coat, I should say, and your paint also versus the pledge. It may be a little separation, but it don't hurt nothing to shake it up. Like this is the copper, and I got a lead in here. You can't hear it yet because it's stuck on the bottom in the powder. There it goes. Now, so that's 
It's all copper. And you can see on the end there. So that's how you do on this one. Shake it up. And it's best to shake this stuff up every time you use it anyway. I mean, every paint I use, I'll shake it up a little bit before I spray it. Anyway, unless I'm spraying with a bunch, so then once I shake it one time, that's usually all I'll need. And there's papaya. So now, I'm going to get a spoon, and I'm going to paint it black, and then I'm going to spray this and see what it looks like out in the sun to show you what hues you can get. Now you can paint your whole, <coughs> excuse me, you can paint a whole bait with this if you want to. Just remember, this is going to need a little bit longer time to dry versus your Createx or your Apple Barrel or your, let's see what's the other one, uh, Folk Art, which I use a lot of that stuff. I use a lot of Folk Art and stuff. And it does take a little bit longer to dry. But with that Pledge Revive it, it will dry a lot harder. So, we're going to paint a spoon up and then we're going to spray this on there and see what it looks like. Now you don't have to use just black. I mean, you can use any color you want to, and this stuff works good. But I'm just do, using black to demonstrate because I'm on the camera. It's gonna be hard to see uh, what it's gonna look like. Now what I'll do is I'll spray this and I'll let it dry for a little bit, and I'll put some epoxy on it, uh, and then we'll take it out in the sun. Set. Make sure it's really, really good. Right. What I'm going to do is a light, like maybe one pass up on top, and I'll do a couple passes on the bottom, and then I'll do just a pass or two on the inside. That's where I want. I about sprayed the wrong color. Pie is a pretty, it's a actually a real pretty color, so I'm gonna do a couple coats in the bottom. Now remember this is just for highlights, so if you're gonna paint a whole bait, you're gonna have to do quite a bit. I'm actually going to put it on kind of thick down here on the bottom, so that way you kind of get an idea. I've got a couple of spitting spots on there, but I knew I was going to have to because I left paint in this airbrush last night. I'm going to have to reclaim the tip again, but it'll work for now. Too bad. Tell more about it when I get the clear coat on it. Alright, I'm going to use the tape. I got a little bit of DevCon 30 minute left over. This is more than enough to do what I'm going to do. Actually, that's probably way too much. It's probably overkill there. Get the brush. Use an older brush I had laying around, but it's already hard, but use it to mix. 
prefer to mix on the tape or not table but the tape brushes and the cups because I can control more of what I need except on this time here I kind of put too much this is what I'll do I'm doing lures by the way we will be building on the next video we will be building a lure from start to finish and we're going to use fingernail pulp fingernail powder to do most of the lure plus some of the paints that I'm mixing showing you how to mix right now for the highlights and stuff and I'll actually start on that one here pretty quick alright Added a bunch of lights in my shop or in this paint booth, but I swear I could use a few more. This always seems dark. I don't know if it's just me. That's gonna be a pretty color out in the water, especially out in the sun. You'll basically get, depending on how you look at it, like this on the inside will actually look different from the one on the outside, even though they're the same color, it's just reflection is going to be a lot different. I should have went light on the inside and dark on the outside, but that's alright. That looks like com two completely different colors. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I might have to put the micro lens on so you can get a better picture of it. But I'm going to let this dry for a little while. And then we'll take it outside in the sun and get a better look at it. This is the bronze one. That's the bronze one. Now do the papaya one. Let me have that. That'll be that one. That's papaya. Papaya. See it or not, sun's trying to go behind clouds. All right, and the next one is just gold on top of red, and just a test deal. That should be good. All right, guys, that's how I do my powders to do my highlights on my lures. I hope you uh, hope you give it a try or do some experiments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, which is over here, and leave a comment. Catch you all later. Have a good day.